Sexual organs are still intact, so subject is John Doe, Caucasian, five foot eight inches tall. The body's badly burned with extensive charring. Even the bones have splintered under the heat. Many of the fractures on the skull, on the legs and the arms were the result of thermal burn, where the bone is so weakened that it just fractures on its own with the contraction of muscle and tissue. There's almost nothing left to identify this victim. You cannot completely destroy a human body by fire. Whatever is left is enough to tell me the story. Graham, it appears there's still some skin remaining on the left thumb. Great. Uh, you think you can get that off? When there's intense heat, the epidermis, which is your top layer of the skin, will separate from the underneath layers. And you can actually remove that skin, which has the fingerprint on it. Great, excellent, very nice. In this case, we actually had the opportunity of retrieving a thumbprint from the victim's hand. The way we did that was through a process called gloving. I could put my own gloved thumb into that removed skin and give a roll print. Thank you.